the right place. Okay, cool. Um, so this one says, uh, just like the last one, if I can remember, which member of the pair is the stronger acid? So, which one is it? Do you remember? HCl. HCl. And why is that? Because um, HCl is one of the hydrohalic acids, right? Which is not HF. Okay, so if you recall, HF is the one hydrohalic acid that doesn't ionize, okay, or ionize completely. It ionizes a little bit, so it's a weak acid. But all the other ones, so hydrohalic, what are we talking about? The ones that are in the family halogens, okay, the mm -hmm. halogen family. So um, I guess like what we were saying before, um, HCl, HI, HBr, just get out your periodic table and mm -hmm. look at them, but not HF, weak acid, okay? So what did we say? HCl? Strong, strong acid. acid, right? So is that going to be stronger or weaker than this guy, which is acetic acid? Stronger. Stronger, right? So this is a weak acid. <clears throat> so remember, what do we say? Strong acids, they completely ionize, right? So that's a good thing that we had, what we were talking about last time. They completely ionize. So we have this arrow that's just a forward arrow, right? So we're going to go to something like this. And I'm neglecting to put my um, states, you know, so... Obviously, a lot of times you'll see those with um, their states. But here, um, since we have a weak acid, we have this in equilibrium. Okay, and this is where our pKa's come into play and henderson hasselbalch equation and all of that. Okay, which we'll get to in a second. We'll do some more problems with that. But anyways, this still ionizes. It's a weak acid, so what are we going to have to have? When it ionizes, we have to have an H plus, right? Yeah, two ions. One of them specifically has to be an H plus, okay? So what is it going to be? It's going to be everything plus, so without that H, except the minus sign and then H plus. And remember, why do we have a minus sign here? If you can't remember, like, how the electrons are moving, okay? Just remember, the additive sum of this side has to be the same as the additive sum of this side. So since there's no overall charge here, there has to be no overall charge here. And you know we have to have an H+. Plus. Why? Because we have an acid, right? So which one of these acids is stronger acid, right? This one's the stronger acid because this one is a carboxylic acid. And then I guess the last thing that I always like to remind you about with these carboxylic acids is that they aren't bases, of course, right? Even though they looks like they might have that something that you guys like to think of as the hydroxide ion, get that confused, right? But it's not that that gets ionized, it's just that there, okay? So it becomes a proton. Okay? Is that, I know I've beat that into your guys' head, so it seems like you guys are getting it. Okay, questions? Are we cool? Okay, good.